We've got 16 teams, uh, they've all brought squads of eight each, so there's, there's plenty of people here supporting the charity, which is great. Teams turned up from around nine, and then we've had four leagues of four, and then we split off into a plate and a trophy competition where you have a quarter-final, semi-finals, and a final, and there's also a, a wooden spoon for the bottom place, so we'll be trying to avoid that. No, it's tough. It's a, it's a muggy day and it's kind of short, sharp and, and fast and there's a few people blowing, uh, but they recover, get themselves back up and go again. That's what it's about. It's definitely not like a charity event, so I know it's, uh, it's good, it's hard. Some of the guys obviously play football, some don't, so it's good to get everyone together and a bit of team building at the same time. Everyone has good fun and gets a little bit competitive, but everyone's here in good spirits. And obviously, most of all, we're here to support IDAS, the charity. Everyone gets involved. There's no um, big I am, to be fair. Some of the players, I don't think they've ever played football in their life. As long as they fit in the shirt, it doesn't matter how good they are. It's all for charity. The more we do it, the more you get used to what's, what's needed to run an event. We've grown it over the last three years from nine teams to 16 teams that you see here today, which is great. Uh, it means a lot. It means we get to support a very good charity that's doing a lot of good work. But you know, if you don't raise the awareness about these things, then they don't get dealt with. So everybody's really proud to take part.